Alright guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video. So this is potentially the final Super Strike EZA character. Um, there is two more that they maybe could do. Um, Kabito and Piccolo Jr. But that would involve bringing them back for the first time in uh, many years. And then giving them... So like, if they did that, it would be like Kabito would return. He would come with two Dokkan Awakenings and an Easy A potentially right away. It'd be crazy, right? Um, all right, so Chilled. Uh, if Chilled is the final Super Strike character here, this sticker looks fine. Um, I do think that he's potentially um, a pretty good final one. To me, it looks like Chilled is going to be a decent character. I do think we could probably get away with running him, even potentially... Um, uh, like on Frieza's team, maybe in some tough fights, depending upon how things go. He really doesn't look that bad. Uh, let's just hop into an event, uh, and we'll go over a lot of uh, chilled details and kit and things like that. All right, guys. So, let's see. Did it proc? No, it didn't. Okay. One ability chilled has. By the way, chilled has, like, never had a character. This is chilled's first TUR. So, th this is an interesting celebration. We have them back-to-back. Dodoria and Chilled got their first TURs ever in this celebration. So even though, you know, we're nine years in now, there's still a lot of things they could do. I I mean, I Chilled and Dodoria both, I think, could get Dokkan Fest. I would not mind. But then again, I, I would be down for pretty much any character getting a Dokkan Fest. Um, okay, so here's the thing with Chilled. Um, this is an ability that could be very good, especially for like new players and like Super Battle Road and stuff like that. The final line of Chilled's passive, he has a high chance to stun all enemies if there's two or more super class enemies. That is very good for Super Battle Road, which I think sometimes can still be very intimidating for new players. So, um, Chilled being a pretty easy to grind up free-to-play character, I don't think it would be too difficult to, to get him done. Um, that's going to be a, a nice ability that he potentially can have, right? Uh, it's like a better version of Jiren's... Poor Jiren. That, that STR Jiren really was the worst character of 2023, man. He really was. Um, all right, so Chilled gets 30% attack and defense per key sphere obtained. And then another 30% attack and defense per int key sphere obtained. So Chilled will work very effectively here next to Scouter Vegeta. Okay, so we're at 110k. What does this jump us up to? A lot of int orbs and stuff like that. 346k, okay. Um, then Chilled gets 60% attack and defense on super attack. Um, then he gets two key, uh, crit chance and dodge chance 50% when there's two or more inhuman deeds category allies on the team. So, like, bro, like, he has 50% chance to crit, 50% chance to dodge. I, the only thing is maybe, like, you know, he, he is gonna need orbs and he doesn't create them. Right, which, you know, if we're going into a tough Supreme Battle Spectacle fight or something like that, that could be an issue. But one thing I would point out is, you know, on Frieza's team, which is where we are, there are no characters really that are going to be struggling for key. It's not like we're running LR Ultimate Gohan on the team or something like that who needs to get all the key. So I don't think it would be that tough to kind of just set Chilled up potentially for orbs if we wanted to use them. Uh, and then his final, abil final ability, of course, is that stun. Super attack effect, he gets 50% defense, and he greatly lowers enemy attack. The attack debuff is really nice, too. That's not bad. Um, and then Link set here. We'll do that right here. We have Brutal Beatdown, Coward, Strongest Clan in Space, Thirst for Conquest, then Bombardment, Super Strike, and Shadowing Limit. Uh, that's the one thing that does kind of suck about these Super Strike characters, is that, you know... Bombardment and Super Strike. I mean, we're not going to have characters, typically, who are going to have these up. Again, th this very well may be done unless Kabito and Piccolo Jr. come back. So, all right, let's let's uh, let's go ahead and see what damage, what damage that uh, Chilled is up to right here. Remember, despite being free to play, he has 50% dodge and 50% crit. Um, so, of course, if he's sort of like a dodge character, I figured we'd go more of that. But, I mean, his defense on this turn isn't the worst ever, but... I mean, we do have Dodoria support and Scouter Vegeta support. So, I mean, that was this is pretty much like... And, of course, Chill doesn't dodge right away. But he dodges the super, which is what matters. Um, that, I mean, is pretty much probably going to be the best rotation we'll see from Chilled. Uh, unless we would go crazy. 
with um, orb changing, right? Like um, using like orb changing items or something like that. Uh, well, we could do a couple of turns. I, I do want to show Chilled get that ability off where he does actually stun uh, Videl and Gohan right here. By the way, this is one of these stages that could be good sometimes for showcases because Gohan is more like he, he dodges everything, right? Whoa, actually, what what happens if we bring, like, Android 13? I mean, he would he would definitely hit, but I wonder if, like, Gohan, like, does he go down super fast or what? I could probably look it up. How much, like, HP and defense stuff like that does Gohan have? Is it easy to kill him if we would have, like, Android 13 or one of those characters that do that? I'm curious. Okay, so this is going to be another decent turn right here. Um, member Chilled, of course. Is Chilled on Transformation Boost? No, he's not. Yeah, so just like First Form Frieza, Chilled is also not on Transformation Boost. Um, so what that means is, in order for Cooler to be supporting him, there needs to be two enemies. Um, that Gohan, by the way, has... 100 million HP, apparently. And he has 100% damage reduction. So even if you brought Android 13 to guaranteed attack him, Gohan has 100% damage reduction. <laughs> okay. Sure, 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 sure. So they, they thought of everything there. All right, let's, uh, let's see this rotation as well. Let's see how Chill does. This is way less orbs right here uh, that we're actually going to be able to get. So, I mean, that's good. We could see kind of like some variety. Remember, Chilled, of course, is kind of a... Yeah, look how low his defense is right there. Oh, boy. Um, so, I mean, he would be true, true, true dodge or die in this moment. Like, like you know, like, like just, like, pretend we're going up against, like, real tough enemies or something like that. Again, at this point, he would be in true dodge or die territory. Uh, I figure that mostly covers Chilled, though. I mean, he's not really a super complex character. I guess I would like to get chilled stun on display though i i definitely would like to show that if we could uh let me just go ahead and skip to chilled's next turn and uh we'll figure out what we're gonna do here all right so we got a nice little field of orbs here for chilled boy i'm going and hit uh 18 key spheres including a lot of int ones i got some up to 600k defense and then remember he would get 60 percent from his passive super attack effect um and then he also does get 50 percent uh, from his actual super attack effect right there. Alright, so let's see the damage that Chilled will get. Um, actually, I didn't double check that we got the stun. Did we get the stun? Did we fail the stun every single turn? I think we might have. Yeah, I didn't, didn't really have good luck with that stun. Again, Chilled, I mean, he would do it, though. Um, when there's two enemies, he has a high chance to stun. Yeah, we just got a little bit unlucky with it. But again, that, that could be a good super battle road ability for sure. All right, guys, we'll make this the final turn right here. Um, we can go ahead and put uh, Chilled right there. Let, let's just, you know, just get a couple of orbs right here. Uh, it is good to kind of see a bunch of different turns here in terms of, like, how many orbs Chilled gets and stuff like that. And, of course, as a nuking character, I mean, we can expect it, um, that there is a lot of variety uh, in some of the stats and numbers that we would see by Chilled, right? So there we are, the 5.7 million attack stat. With the stun, good for Super Battle Road. And then the dodging capabilities, though. This is a character that you could bring and he would be able to uh, contribute a little bit. Remember, there is a difference between characters that... <clears throat> like, Chilled is probably going to have a defensive level on most turns. Where he could dodge, but if he does get tagged even once, he's probably cooked, right? There's a difference between, like, him and then, like, I don't know, mastered UI Goku in a lot of rotations, a lot of turns... Even if he gets hit by a normal, he's probably going to take double digits, right? It would take a big boss super to take him down. But, all right, there was Chilled. All right, guys, so here was our boy Chilled. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at his full details. Uh, so this is Attack of the Space Pirate Chilled. Again, this is Chilled's first TUR right here. Leader skill is Int and Physical Type Key 3 and 70% to Stats. Super attack is the Death Ball, which gives him 50% defense for one turn, supreme damage, and then lowers enemy attack by, uh, or greatly lowers enemy attack. That's pretty good. Um, the attack debuffs are going to be pretty relevant. A free-to-play character like this, with the stun ability he has in his passive, I do think that he's potentially pretty solid. 
when it would come to like super battle road content so also having that attack debuff so the turn starts he stuns the enemies chilled gets a super attack off and then uh attack debuffs him for the next turn so good super battle road character which which is nice i mean as a free-to-play option i like it uh passive skill true nature of space pirates he gets 30 percent attack and defense per key sphere obtained then he gets 30% attack and events per int key sphere obtained. Now, it that does sound good, but remember, he doesn't create his own orbs. That's the thing, right? Is that you, we see a lot of characters with abilities like this who do create their own orbs, so there's a little bit more of a level of consistency. Think of LR Bulma, creates her own orbs. God Goku on a lot of turns, I mean, depending upon if his intro is up, creates his own orbs. Pat the Power Kid Goku creates his own orbs. But Chilled... <clears throat> is you're either going to need to be smart with how you play around with the orbs or get lucky or something like that, right? The good thing, though, is that Frieza's team is not going to struggle for key. Uh, then Chilled gets 60% attack and defense from performing a super attack. Uh, then he gets two key, 50% crit, and 50% dodge. If there's another two Inhuman Deeds category allies on the team, that's really quite easy to do, especially if you're running him on Frieza's team. Frieza and Frieza, bam, that's it, right? Like... So that's not tough at all. Uh, then finally, he has the high chance to stun all enemies uh, if there's two or more super class enemies. His links are Brutal Beatdown, Coward, Strongest Clan in Space, Thirst for Conquest, Bombardment, Super Strike, and Shattering the Limit. Uh, he unfortunately does have a lot of those kind of like crappy Super Strike type links. Uh, 12 key multiplier is 140%. Uh, sure, sure, sure. Uh, and then finally, Chilled is on a few different category teams here. So Chilled is on the Wicked Bloodline team. So we've gotten, um, you know, some recent Wicked Bloodline characters so far uh, in 2024. Uh, Chilled is also on the Terrifying Conqueror team. This is a team we really would like to see Terrifying Conqueror buffs um, to buff Frieza. So there's that. Uh, then Chilled is also on Inhuman Deeds. We still have never gotten a leader for this category, which is crazy to think about. Uh, Frieza is also, or excuse me, Chilled is also on the crossover category team because he's in that little Bardock uh, special. So another addition to crossover, certainly not a bad thing at all. Uh, then Chilled is also on the space traveling warrior category team. That's how he's on Frieza's team, of course. Uh, and then finally, Chilled is on storied figures. So there we go. There is this chilled right here. Um, I think for a free-to-play character, he seems pretty decent. Um, I like his ability potentially to help out in Super Battle Road stages. I think that's like a, a fine place for a character like this. Um, you know, he could potentially be like the sixth option uh, on Frieza's team. He is a terrifying conqueror category character. Unfortunately, Chill doesn't have big bad bosses, but at least again, he is terrifying conquer, and he does have the 200% leader skill from Frieza as well. So again, he is an option to say the least. Uh, so let me know what you guys think of Super Strike Chilled. Thanks guys for watching, and I'll catch y'all next time.